For years, wildlife, especially the elephants, have been moving from Apadea to Mount Kenya without any problem. But after people started developing their individual pieces of land, there has been issues of human wildlife conflicts. From the time the communities feel that the traffic is coming from the forest, they are less engaged in conserving the same forest ecosystems. So as a response to the conflict between people and wildlife alongside our mountain ecosystems, Ranwak has spearheaded the concept of establishing game-proof electrical fences. As of today, we have built a 400 km fence around the Abadea ecosystems. Right now, we are building a 450 km fence around Mount Kenya ecosystems. We are also working in the Mao Forest Complex. In partnership with Kenya Order of Service, we engage people whom we call fence attendants and technicians who are on day-to-day -day manning the fence. They monitor the voltage, they clear all the vegetation that is along the fence line, they provide free labor, and most importantly, they report any deformity or defect on the fence. If I look at the fence in the Abadeas, the older section was completed 22 years ago, and the fence is up, standing, and powerful. And the only reason why we are so successful in our fans is just because we engage fully the communities. We had to find ways to secure funds. And uh, we developed our own fundraising mechanism. It's called the Rano Charge. The event is taking place every year. And that event actually helped us raise in the tune of one million US dollars every year. The main reason I do it is uh, to raise funds for conservation. So consistently every year I try and, try and raise a lot of funds. Over the last few years I've been amongst the top fundraisers. And uh, again, this year I aim to be amongst one of the highest fundraisers, so I hope I make it. If there's anything I can leave for this country, all the people of this country, is, is um, conservation. And raising that money and knowing where that money goes is what's important to our team as a whole. The biggest uh, factor of success of uh, Rhinoak uh, is basically the chargers, the people who do so much uh, to make sure that we are able to raise uh, funds uh, which are then uh, put to use uh, by uh, the board and by uh, the management uh, team. The benefit of having our own core fund raise within Ranwak is that then when we are approaching donors from outside, we are not asking them to cover our overheads, we are asking them to provide direct contributions that goes 100% uh, on site in support of our projects.
Sustainability comes from involving uh, communities, from uh, working with uh, partners uh, who have an interest in conservation and also in ensuring that uh, the environment is uh, managed in a sustainable manner. Uh, comes from working closely with government and comes from working very, very closely with uh, the corporate community in Kenya. Obviously, one of the other key, key things as we look ahead is uh, to put, in, to put in place uh, the appropriate uh, financial frameworks uh, through endowment uh, trust, uh, which will enable us to build a sustainable financing uh, framework, uh, both uh, for the Rhino Act and uh, for the protection of uh, the environment. Without Rhino Act, we would never have been able to manage the human wildlife conflict around the Abadi ecosystem in the way that we do. Never. If Rhino Ark was never able to raise the funds that they raise, we would never have built this fence. And yes, there are changes in perceptions, changes in attitudes in some communities, and we build on those positives. Na mimi nafurahia kwanza hapa nikiwa karibu na hii fence hawanisumbui sasa. Mimi naona ni mzuri tu aishi hapo na mimi niishi hapa. Nikizuiwa akizuiwa na fence hii rhino fence. There was a need to look beyond uh, the Abadea ecosystem and look at Kenya's water towers across the entire country. As we look 20 to 50 years ahead, we are basically investing in protecting Kenya's uh, water towers and assuring uh, Kenyan people uh, of the future that uh, they will have the ability uh, to have access uh, to clean water, uh, forestation in a meaningful manner in which communities are heavily involved. <laughs>